everyone. Welcome back to Vermont Craft Tours. I'm Sarah Scully and um, I mentioned in the last video that I have a few new recipes to share with you. Um, the next one was uh, one that I developed over the course of last summer, um, really working on my technique for making spaghetti sauce. And um, things are starting to finally thaw out here and I'm already starting to think about what I'm going to plant for a garden. And of course, tomatoes are high on the list. So as you're thinking about planting your garden for this year, um, or you know your favorite stall at the farmer's market, or what you're going to get in your CSA basket if you can't grow your own vegetables where you live, um, think about this pasta sauce and maybe how you can adapt it to what you have on hand. Um, so for a long time, I really liked uh, a pasta sauce that I would make fresh from the garden on the stove top. Um, and, and the ingredients were the same as I'm going to give you here. Um, but what I found is that it tastes even better if you roast them in the oven. It just brings out, it caramelizes everything, it brings out a lot more depth of flavor, um, and it's less kind of standing over it and stirring it. Um, so it, it, I think it's a little easier as well. Um, so what I do is I gather up a whole bunch of paste tomatoes. Uh, I usually grow about half paste tomatoes, half slicing tomatoes in my garden. Some Anaheim chili peppers and some garlic. And I um, will leave the garlic, I'll sort of peel the papery outer shell off the garlic, but I'll leave a little bit of that on there. Um, I'll just uh, rinse everything else and put it whole onto a tray douse it liberally with olive oil and salt, and then roast that in the oven on high heat, 375 or 400, um, until everything's kind of soft and mushy. Usually this takes about half an hour or so, um, but you can you can check on it and uh, check your oven temperature too, make sure it's, it's consistent. Um, so once everything is, uh, is nice and soft and roasted, um, take it out, let it cool down, of course, before you start handling things. But then you should be able to just kind of squish the garlic out um, of, its, of its little encasement. And um, for the tomatoes, usually I will um, just uh, peel the skins off. When they're, when they're burst in the oven from cooking this way, they, the skins just slip right off. Um, for the peppers, I'll usually leave everything except I will just pop the tops off. Um, but you can open them up and take the seeds out too if you if you don't like the seeds. So then I'll take all that roasted stuff, put it in a food processor, um, maybe with just a little bit more olive oil, and whiz it up until it's nice and smooth and um, it, it's kind of self thickening because all the starch and everything from the vegetables gets released while they're while they're roasting. Um, and it's just lovely. And then um, I have one of those um, vacuum seal um, food prep machines. So I'll put things in the freezer bags and vacuum seal, seal them, write the date on. And then I've got a whole bunch of pasta sauce or pizza base or base for tomato soup. Um, it can become a lot of different things, but it's a really nice tomato sauce, a little bit spicy, nice and garlicky and um, I can use that all winter. Um, so check that out. I'll put the full details and the different proportions in the recipe on the blog, which I'll link to in the show notes. And think about um, what you're gonna grow this summer. Maybe plant some of your favorite chili peppers or something and try out our spicy tomato sauce. Thanks so much for watching and remember to subscribe for more videos. Cheers. <laughs>